Hi guys, today we're taking a first look at the Louis Vuitton Speedy Bandelier in Damier Abin. She is 14 inches wide, 10 inches tall, and 7 inches deep. Um, I'm not going to go into a full review of this bag because if you check out the Speedy Bandelier review I already have, it's very similar. I'm going to go over some uh, things that are changed about this bag or different about this bag, but I will do some modeling shots. So, this is the Speedy 35 in Damier Abin. Um, the first is with the two straps in. The extension's been taken out and this is on the longest setting with the two straps. Again, I'm 5'4". see that the strap hangs nicely when you have just the two in. So let me put the third extension in. The extension strap gives you a little longer length. Um, with the extension strap in you have six adjustments. Three on this side, three on this side. Um, with the extension strap out with just the two straps you only have three adjustments. So and I'll, this is set on the shortest setting and I'll show you how that looks. You can wear it cross body. Um, I would definitely make it longer. With the third extension in, you can see that your strap is going to hang a lot lower. So you can't just let it dangle. You probably have to pick it up and put it between the straps, which can get kind of bothersome. All right, some close-ups on the bag. There is a front and a back on this extension piece. Um, this is the front side, notice the stitching. And this is the back side. Um, the extension strap will go in either way. Um, when I first got it, my SA had put it in backwards and I noticed the stitching looked very different. So when you're putting it in, I guess you just have to look at it to kind of make sure that the front side is going forward. Shot of the interior of the bag with items in it. Lots of room. Love the 35. Okay, let, me, let me empty it out and I'll show you some interesting things that I've noticed. Uh, Louis Vuitton has changed um, the way they print their bags so they supposedly no longer say or will no longer say made in France, made in the USA. Now the stamp just says Louis Vuitton Paris. Uh, the only way you can really tell where your bag is made is by the date code. That's one of the changes they've made. Um, another one is if you look at the ring on the bag versus the clip. The clip is shiny gold. The ring is a matte gold. Um, and there is a kind of color difference you can tell. Now on my speedy bandolier uh, in monogram, uh, the rings are a little more shiny so that's one of the changes and on my keep all it's also shiny um, the canvas on this one appears to be the same canvas um, my speedy azure is a thinner canvas and you can definitely tell um, this one if you hold it up to the light you cannot see through it uh, whereas if you hold up my azure to the light you can definitely see through the bag because the canvas is so much thinner uh, the interior of the bag, I'll show you the infamous cloth tag. On the side where the pocket is, to the seam here, is the tag. Now, at least Louis Vuitton made it the same color, so it sort of blends in, but made in the USA of imported materials. And it is up in the corner of the bag, so you don't really notice it when you open the bag. 
your date code is still the same underneath. The other thing I kind of noticed, which um, I can't get it to read on camera, but this is the Speedy 30, and this is the 35 Bandelier. Um, the Speedy 30 is definitely a different color than the Bandelier. Um, the Speedy 30 is a more chocolate color, and I know it's not showing up on camera, but it's distinctly different. Um, I pulled out my Damier Aben never full and compared it. It's also the same color as the Speedy 30. Now my Bloomsbury is more of an in-between so that just tells me that there's a lot of variation in the Damier Aben print and the canvas that they're using. So you know when you go to the store take if you own a Damier Aben piece take it to the store and compare. That's kind of interesting. Like I say you're not going to notice it unless you put them side by side but when I put mine side by side I thought that is distinctly different. From the front, when you're looking at the Speedy versus the Speedy Bandelier, there's not much difference. Um, they're very similar in appearance. It's when you turn it to the side that you really notice the difference because of the leather strip um, on the bag. Some people don't like that leather strip. I think it adds uh, a distinct look. I like it, but um, like I say some people are not a fan of it. Another thing that um, Louis Vuitton has changed um, is the portfolio. It used to be you get portfolio like this um, when you shop. A receipt folded up fits nicely inside. Or if you shop online, you get a portfolio like this. Again, receipt fits nicely inside. Um, yesterday was the first time I'd gotten the new uh, portfolios, mini portfolios. Um, again, a cost-cutting measure for Louis Vuitton. Um, the receipt doesn't even fit completely inside. When you open it up, it um, looks like somebody just wadded the thing up and stuck it inside. I'm not impressed. Um, Japanese have a, a saying that presentation is everything, and this does say a lot about where Louis Vuitton is going these days. Um, the thinner canvas is uh, another change. Uh, I've seen it just, like I say, on the Azure Speedy. Um, I'm not overly impressed with that. I don't mind that it makes the bag sag a little more. I don't know how that's going to hold up over time. Uh, will it hold up over 20 years? I don't know. I um, guess we'll find out. Um, overall, I, I think these cost-cutting measures of Louis Vuitton I'm not impressed with. Probably the next thing to be affected would be the boxes. Either you won't get a box or the box will be very flimsy. Um, I say I'm not overly impressed. So, but as far as the Speedy Bandelier goes, I do like it. I think it's a great bag. Um, I'm impressed with it so far. So, leave your comments below, rate, and subscribe. Thanks. Have a great week.